Praise God, praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that you guys are having a blessed day in the Lord. Praise God. Give him glory, give him glory, give him glory. All right, if you, I'm going to read my um, actual title because today I'm going to let you know before I begin, I'm on one. I mean, I'm on one. But let me digress and do this the way God wants me to. Okay, all right. Jesus was powerful because he was moved with compassion. Christians, saints, those that say they are Christians, saints, it's a way to do and say things, pray before speaking. I, I, I'm so, so I'm going to have to slow it down because I don't want to, um, let me read the scripture. Because when I read the word, it just, I love the word of God. The word of God heals. It delivers. Come on, somebody. It, it, it pacifies. It gives you peace. It gives you power. Well, come on, somebody. So let me read the word. Mark 1, 42, 41 to 42, the verse. And Jesus moved with compassion, put forth his hand, and touched him and said unto him, I will be thou clean. Hold on, 42. And as soon as he had spoken, immediately the leprosy departed from him and he was cleansed. And this is the word of God. All right. I got something to say. I got something to say. And, and this has been, and to be honest with you, God been talking with me about it all morning. <sighs> Christians are some of the most rude, ruthless, uncompassionate evil speaking, jealous people I have ever met in my life. And I'm, and I, I, I'm going there. I'm going there. I so wonder Jesus preached the way he did, taught the way he did. He chose people that wasn't even in church. Now, hold on. With all due respect, we're not talking about the whole body of Christ. We are talking about the majority. You don't know how to love one another. And hold on. I'm, I'm going to teach this thing the way he wants me to. I'm going to teach this thing the way he wants me to because now I'm wondering why we not, we're not seeing revival and, and people are not really coming in the church because people are hurting. They really want, but they don't know where to go and, and because they don't see the love. They don't see healing. They don't see deliverance. They see meanness. Now, hold on. We are to preach and teach the authentic words and the teachings of Jesus Christ. Notice I keep saying Jesus Christ because they got too much other stuff out there. But you are supposed to love one another. Jesus hung with sinners. Y'all are so cruel. And to, I see why people are not being saved the way they used to. In other countries, notice the power of God is, I'm talking about, whoa. Because people have to, you have to circumcise your heart, people of God. Stop being so mean and ugly spirited. That is not of God. It is a way to do things. It is a way. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. My God, my God. And what came about this is that I've been watching not just on Facebook, but I've, but even certain things like even when I post something on YouTube, you don't get to tell a grown man or a grown woman how and what to do. You don't, you, I'm sorry, you don't get to do that. No, you don't. We follow God. Now we respect each other opinion and that if that's if it's actually lined up with God and I'm understanding the way y'all attack each other on Facebook the way y'all attack each other on YouTube and, and then be talking to people as if they're children I'm sorry you don't get to do that we're all supposed to be brothers and sisters you don't get to tell nobody uh, da, 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 and think it's cool because it's not cool and for the record and I mean what I'm getting ready to say with every fiber of my being. And, and let me make this thing very clear. God's been talking to me about this for two hours. So I am not on here mad, angry, and spewing out this. I have prayed about this before I even talked about this subject. Because what I'm getting ready to say is real. I, Apostle Deanna Dixon, I'm not moved by the masses. I'm not moved by popularity. I'm not moved by this and that. With that, that was one thing me and God had, was very clear on. I serve the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. So whatever, when I, before I even get on here, I already have talked to him, spoken to him. If I put something on Facebook, YouTube, or whatever, I've already got the clearance. I don't need you to tell me what to do and how to do it and when to do it. Are you crazy? <laughs> nah, 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 I'm not finished. I'm not finished. Hold on. Let me finish. So with, this, with that being said, I, Apostle Deanna Dixon, I'm worried about the message and not the masses and the opinion of the masses. Understand what I am saying. I don't work for you. Now, what I'm supposed to do is preach to you and teach to you and love you back to life. But let's be clear. You don't have to follow me. You ain't got to follow my YouTube. But what you will not do is ever get on my stuff again and tell me what you think I ought to do because you're not God. And, and but, but hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, yeah, I'm on one. But, but, but it made me think about something yesterday. I said, God, that's why you turned my heart. Y'all remember I did the video? I said, I didn't always do things right when I was on here. Now I understand what God was talking about because y'all attack somebody over something that y'all don't even know that God said or didn't say. And the crazy part is y'all so gung-ho Christians that you really don't even know the word of God and the, and the movement of God. Because if you knew the movement of God, then you would know God is about souls. Hold on. Y'all keeps trying to reach people that's already in your circle. Can I tell you something? Jesus said, go to the highways and the byways. That's right. So when people do go to the highways and byways, what you doing with them people? Sound familiar? They did the same thing. That, what are you doing with them sinners, Jesus? Jesus said, I've came to I've come to save the lost. Isn't that what we're supposed to be doing? So how dare you sit up there and tell me, oh, you in league? Well, let me tell you something. Boy, y'all got me on one. Y'all should have never started because I ain't scared of you. I, I, I'm not into numbers. I, I'm so sorry. So I don't care if all y'all unfollow me. Don't play with me. I'm Apostle Deanna Dixon. I serve the Lord. I don't serve you. But but I thought about something. That's how y'all be attacking each other. That's how y'all that's how y'all do with people that y'all don't think is right. And I'm gonna bring up two situations: Megan Good and her husband Devon. Now I, I don't agree with how he let her just you know he's the head. He's 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 supposed to be handling that. She ain't supposed to be showing nothing. I don't care if she's the actor or not. But we already know that's a whole different story. But the way that y'all came at her. Now, understand me. I believe in the biblical principles. I believe in the in the commandments of God. But it's a way to come to people. Y'all don't come to people with love. Y'all just, just attack people. And that would make people say, whoa, this is a Christian? That's why people are talking about Christians bad. Now, nah, see why y'all ain't walking in no love. And you don't have to. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to be clear on this video. I'm not saying conform to nothing that is not of God because I'm not going to do it either. But what I've learned, and I pray that some of you learn, is how you're delivering. You must deliver with love. Now, there are some times that you have to be stern and firm, but you don't get to tell a grown person or, or, or you just don't do that because you know what's happening? Soon as you release all that, they already stop their ears. They're not even hearing you or listening to you. So now you've just lost a man of God, a woman of God. It must be with love. That's why God says Jesus was moved with compassion. Because you know what Jesus was after? That one soul. Jesus, Jesus mind and Jesus focus was always after souls. Mary Magdalene. Oh, don't make me start. Paul, Saul. What, 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 how, how many more stories y'all want me to tell y'all? Because everybody in the Bible, Jesus was after their soul. But notice what he did even with the 12 apostles. He taught them and, 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 and he actually spent time with them. Can I ask you something? How will people be conformed to even want to be saved if we don't spend time with them and teach them the word? I truly believe in that. Can I tell y'all something? Do y'all know how many homosexual people, home people in homosexuality, contact me on a personal level and they know I don't play that, meaning that, hey, I don't believe in that? You know why they contact me? Because they feel the love. They say, okay, we, we know she don't, she, she ain't down with that. But I love them. Come on. 
Let me break this thing down. We, we're going to talk food since my art is food. We're going to talk food because maybe, maybe y'all, some of y'all get it. Okay, have you ever ate chicken? And I know most black people eat chicken. And and, and look, that's ain't no cliche that y'all know that's real. Chickens be running from y'all. Okay, but let's be real. Let's say you got a bucket of chicken, right? Everybody don't like thighs. Everybody don't like breasts. Everybody don't like wings. Okay. So you mean to tell me that you're not going to eat any chicken because they didn't buy all wings, all thighs, all breasts? No, what you're going to do, you're going to pick out of there what you want, right? That is the same way when we minister to anyone. They may not hear that whole message from you. They may even re re reject you. But I promise you this, there's going to be something that they retain because Paul and Apollos said, I watered and one planted, or I planted and one watered. Let me tell you something. We are losing people out there by droves because you don't know how to deliver. It's okay to say what thus said the law. It is okay to minister the word of God. It is okay to quote the scriptures of God. But if you don't change and start loving people back to life, we're going to continue to lose people because of your heart. Because I'm about to tell you something. One thing God have always told me and I've always taught anybody that have been under me and I have had hundreds of prophets under me. Let me tell you what I've always told them and what I tell you all to. The foundation must be love. If not, you are a liar before God. Hallelujah to his name. That's another thing. Y'all gonna stop telling me, why do you say hallelujah? Why do you say, come on somebody, don't you understand with your so-called Christian self that when the spirit of God is on you, you have no control? Y'all gonna back up off me because I ain't no softy. I ain't scared of you. I ain't scared of you. And I don't care if you unfriend me, unfollow me, please do. Because guess what? I'd rather 10 righteous than 10,000 people that's gonna give me a headache for nothing. Because can I tell you something? I'm gonna put the thing back on YouTube. I'm just gonna, I'm, I, I, I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna word it differently. Because you don't run nothing. You don't tell me what to do, how to do it, when to do it. But, but I thank y'all for that. Because you made, actually, you made this video come forth because that's what God has been trying to tell me to continue to preaching is the love. Y'all got to love people back to life. Even, hold on, even when they're wrong. Because, hold on, I'm going here. Before we got saved with our sanctified, perfect self. Uh oh, did I say perfect? Exactly, we're not. Wasn't it God that gave us the grace and the mercy and held out his hand? Come, come, let me, let me make you whole. So, so we're servants of God, right? So are we not supposed to tell people that are not saved, come? Let me introduce you to Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Yeah. Y'all get the drift. And I don't have to be on here long. Hallelujah to his name. When I saw that hate, that confusion, the the the, the tone, the I was I was appalled because it wasn't even it wasn't even nothing to be mad about. So then I, I had to pray. I said, God, what, what, what was, you know, my mother used to say something when we were talking. She said, what's really going on? So I had to go underneath that thing. I said, that's another thing. Most of you attack and don't even pray. I pray about everything. I pray about if I should go somewhere, what to where. Y'all think I'm crazy, whatever. I need to know because something might be around the corner. And, and God may have, God can see what I don't see. You're supposed to pray before you come and talk to anybody, especially on Facebook or anywhere. Some of y'all just let anything come out of your mouth. The Bible says, and God says that you will give account for every word and every deed. Be mindful of what you say. Be mindful of what you do. But yet, because y'all sitting up there, let me tell you what doubt judge do not means, because a lot of you take it out of context. It's called biblical applications. You ain't got no heaven or hell to put nobody in. Love people back to life and stop playing. Stop attacking folks. God did not call us to attack anybody. Now, if it's a thus said the Lord, even in that, I've learned you got to do it a certain way. So who are you? Come on, somebody, hallelujah. He said, because if you find yourself judging in that capacity, then you are in error because there's one lawgiver and one judge. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. And, and, and I'm not mad, I promise you. I'm not because you. I could care less. I just had to let y'all know that you don't tell me what to do. I am grown. <laughs> and then some of y'all, well, what? I do what I want to do. As long as he is, but let me clarify that. As long as Jesus Christ approves, I'm going to say what he say to say, and I'm going to do the way he want me to do it. And I wouldn't care if all y'all left off of here and, and just one memory or none. But what I will not do is be moved by opinions, thoughts, and ugliness. 
You could take that down the corner. Please go follow somebody else that loved that kind of stuff. On this channel, it's about love, discernment, wisdom, and winning souls. That's what it's about. It's not about popularity and, and who say who and gossip. I don't even roll like that. That ain't my, I got too much other stuff that I'm trying to do. Hallelujah. I'm busy. I ain't got time for all that. But what I will always do is walk in love because that's what God told me. He said, I don't care how powerful you are. And, and I said this to you that God said this. is what does say the Lord. He, he don't care how powerful you are, how much money you have. If you have not love, you are a liar before God. That's why that last commandment, he said, oh, hold on. I actually put it on my Facebook page, but I, I want to do it again. Hold on. I want to read it before I get off of here. Because notice, he actually made that commandment after, okay, hold on. All right. John 13, 13. Just one moment, you guys. All right, John 13, 34. Excuse me, I'm sorry. And I, I put it up there earlier. A new commandment I give unto you, that you love one another as I have loved you. And notice he repeats it, that ye also love one another. Can I tell you something? That's why he said, love your enemies. That's why I'm not, I'm not you know, hating on nobody and I'm not terribly, mm -mm. I'm not perturbed, but I knew that I had to address this because guess what? Y'all do that to each other and y'all do that to people. And we wonder why the churches are not filled with men or the young people because they see how ugly people are. They ain't trying to have none of that. They ain't trying to have that in life because life is already hard. They just want peace. And Lord knows there is no peace in the church right now. And if we don't come together for real and quit hating on each other, being ugly, if God didn't tell you to say it, shut it your mouth. You have no authority. You don't run nothing. I don't run anything. There's only one God. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And I just pray y'all understand what I'm saying. I'm not trying to be ugly. I'm really not. That's not my spirit. But y'all should also know I have a warren spirit. Don't play with me. I'm not the one. Because I, I could see if I was like the world, you know, our, our most popular preachers. I don't care about numbers. I never have. Because that's not God. I ain't trying to be no star. I'm just trying to make it to heaven. And I'm going to make it happen. I ain't going to let none of you stop me. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sitting up there telling me how to, how to say hallelujah. Why I say hallelujah. Why I say come on, somebody. Have you ever been in the spirit? Mm. Have you ever caught the Holy Spirit? Mm. Don't play with me. Because cause you don't know. Because a seasoned person can understand. So that's how I know you're not seasoned. So what am I really saying? Get saved before you open your mouth. Because the things of God is deep. The secrets of God is deep. And it's for the seasoned folk. It ain't for you babies. The babies, what y'all supposed to be doing is learning. Sit somewhere, sit down somewhere, and learn the kingdom of God. And how you learn the kingdom of God? Most of the time, you just shut your mouth and, and you just listen and you meditate and you pray. And when you get seasoned, he'll release you and say, now you're ready. That's why it's called process and pruning. And those are very hard times because two things could happen during process and pruning. Either you're going to come out season or you're going to quit and go back to the world. That's what's happening. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So I pray that I made myself so clear. And yes, I, I'm going to upload this on YouTube so they can know too. Because um, somebody got it twisted. Somebody don't know Apostle Deanna Dixon. But I'm scared of y'all sitting up there talking a gangster. Uh, 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 what they call it? A Facebook gangster, YouTube gangster. With words. And some of y'all plants. I, I get that. But most of y'all, you just unhappy. You need peace. You need God. You need you need to be delivered. Because whatever's in you, that's how you operate. And so I'm not attacking back because that's not what we do. But I'm setting the worker straight. No, you're not going to act like that with me. And you shouldn't act like that with any other person. Because if you die the day or tomorrow, what you going to say? Where you going for real? While you sitting up there worrying about everybody else, where you going? What you going to do? Hmm? Sit up, don't worry about me, honey. You know what I'm saying? All right, y'all get it. All right, all right. I feel so much better. I tell you. Whew. That's why you say, confess your faults one to another. I'm confessing my faults to y'all. That y'all better pray for me because I ain't the one. <laughs> I think that's why God chose me. I ain't never been the one. And he said, I'm going to use that one. That one there because she got fire in her. Y'all understand me? I think you do. All right. God bless you. I pray that you are empowered. 
um ooh, almost finished the fast you know um it, this it's hard to before the days i ain't gonna lie i ain't gonna lie but we almost finished and god is good and that's the good thing about it that we can be transparent and real and say god keep us we got till next sunday yeah ooh, wait next sunday <laughs> so be encouraged stay in your word walk in love i can't stress that enough walk in love you wonder why some of your blessings are held up you need to repent to somebody. You wonder why your blessings are held. We need to forgive somebody. You wonder why your blessings are, because you're full of heck. I want to say H-E-L-L, -L, but I ain't going to say that because they say, oh, she was on that cussing. She, she, she was on. <laughs> Just sit there, allow me again. Oh, my God, my God. But you know what, though? All is well. So God bless you. I pray that you are encouraged, like I say, and stick with God because I'm telling you, it's getting hot out here. Them devils are crazy. So stay in your words, stay fasting, stay praying, and again, walk in love. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon, real life soldiers, for that is who we are. Mm. Now, y'all should have known something when I, don't y'all know I say that all the time, real life soldiers, for that is who you are. God gave me that. So hold on. If he tell me to tell y'all that y'all are soldiers, who you thought you was playing with? Straight up soldier. You heard me? Yeah, you did. All right, God bless.